Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today on Worldly Josieisms, we travel to Paraguay. Click the like button, comment below where I should go next, and enjoy this video. Paraguay is a landlocked country between Argentina, Brazil, and Bolivia. Home to large swaths of swampland, subtropical forest, and chaco. Wilderness comprising savanna and scrubland. The capital, Asuncion, on the banks of the Paraguay River, is home to the Grand Government Palace and the Museo del Barro, displaying pre-Columbian ceramics and unduti lacework, the latter available in many shops. The official language is Paraguayan, Guarani, and Spanish. The president is Santiago Peña and population 6.7 million people. The flag of Paraguay was first adopted in 1842. Its design, a red, white, blue tri-band, was inspired by the colors of the French tricolor, believed to signify independence and liberty. The flag is unusual because it differs on its obverse and reverse sides. The obverse side of the flag shows the national coat of arms and the reverse shows the seal of treasury. It is only one of two national flags worldwide which bears this feature and the other being the flag of Saudi Arabia. The flag consists of the same three horizontal colors as the flag of Netherlands which in turn was the inspiration for the French flag. It was revised in 2013 to bring the flag towards its original design and has a ratio of 11-20. The emblem on the other side is the National Coat of Arms of Paraguay, a yellow five-pointed star surrounded by a green wreath of palm and olive leaves tied with ribbons of the color of the stripes and capped by the words Republica del Paraguay all within two concentric circles. The emblem on the reverse side is the seal of treasury, a yellow lion below a red ferrigan cap on the top of a pole, symbolizing courage, and as the words Paz y Justica, peace and justice. Now for this next nail, I always thought it would be cool to say cheers in a different language. So here I am writing down salud which is cheers in Spanish. So as you grab your drink in a gathering, raise your glass and say, Salud! How do you say cheers? Yorba Mate is the national drink of Paraguay, where it is also consumed with either hot or ice-cold water. Drinking mate is a common social practice in all of the territory of Paraguay. Terere is this ice herbal tea, national drink of Paraguay. A person who prepares terere is called the cebador. In such a gathering, the Sebador has to drink the first infusion as it is bitter always and is not served to the guests. After drinking, the Sebador refills the cup with water and passes it on to the next person in the circle. Similarly, the next person also drinks it up and refills it again before passing it to the next guest. This continues until the last person on the table gets to drink the amazing cup of Tereni. I will leave a link for a recipe in the description box below. What is your country's popular drink?
Sopa Paraguayan is a traditional Paraguayan dish, literally meaning Paraguayan soup. Sopa Paraguaya is similar to cornbread. Corn flour, pig fat or lard, or butter, cheese and milk or whey are common ingredients. It is a spongy cake that is rich in calories and protein content and is the national dish of Paraguay. Word has it that the dish is called Paraguayan soup because the country's first president favored a particular white soup made of milk, cheese, egg, and corn flour, but one day his cook put too much corn flour in it and accidentally made bread instead of soup. I will leave a link for a recipe in the description box below. What is your country's popular dish? Quincho Dia Coral was designed by Gabinete de Arquitectura in 2015. A quincho is a pavilion that is usually installed on urban lots to cover events. Reinterpreting this idea in Asuncion, this elegant project combines structure and pattern to create a sequence of carefully articulated spaces connecting indoor and outdoor rooms. The main concept centers on the triangular grid that creates a dynamic spatial experience, paying off various lighting conditions throughout the day. In turn, the materials and interior lighting completely reframe the structure at night. Its size is around 1,000 to 3,000 square feet. What is your country's popular piece of architecture? Here is my finished set, Paraguayan inspired. Thank you so much for joining me on my voyage to Paraguay today. I hope I was able to teach you some of the things I've learned based on my studies. Here is the Paraguayan flag. This is actually the treasure emblem on the reverse side. I had no idea that this flag has two sides, <laughs> but that was cool to learn. And here is how you say cheers in Spanish, salud. I've done a lot of these, salud nails. Here is my um, yerba mate, the Paraguayan terere, um, iced tea. And here is my Sopa Paraguaya. I'd probably love this if it's any close to cornbread, which it sounds like, like a cheesy cornbread. <laughs> I'm definitely down for this one. And here is my wannabe Quincho Tia Coral. Um, that mold does have 
similar spaces that it had, um, but definitely Google this one because um, it really looked nice and it created some very pretty um, spaces with the sunlight coming through. So thank you so much for joining me on Worldly Josieisms. Let me know where I should go next in my travels. This is Isms by Josie. Please share a like and subscribe for future videos. And join me again. I have my Friday night live as well as my Saturday's night at the improv. I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.